वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 9.82 सो फॉर द यूनिफॉर्म बीम शोन डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शन एट ए एंड रिएक्शन एट पॉइंट बी सो यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस इज अ बीम ए बी दैट इज देर इज अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए एंड देर इज अ फिक्स सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी एट पॉइंट सी वी हैव अ मूमेंट ऑफ एम नॉट क्लियर सो देर इज अ वन गिवन डेटा सो वट इफ वी रिमूव this roller support so there will be a reaction force r a and what if we remove this fixed support there will be a reaction support or force and there will be a moment now you can see there are three unknowns and one is given so this beam is indeterminate so we will solve it by using method of superposition so how we will solve this so if i represent here the force here is r a the force here is rb and there is a moment of mb so this there are three unknowns mb rb and ra so we cannot solve it by using method of equilibrium so we will solve it by using method of superposition so how we will solve this so if i draw this beam like this is the beam this is point a where we have a reaction force r a and there is a fixed support at this point c we have a moment m not from c to a. this distance is a and total length is l so we we will split into two case and that will be equal to if i represent the same beam so here we will have r a the total length is l and there is a fixed support this is point b this is point a similarly this is point a this is point and at point c we have external moment m not and from this point till point c we have this distance is a so we have represent this system over here okay so what in first step is that you have to split it into two conditions so i will first represent it let me clear it so this is your first scenario plus if i represent this beam so definitely this is point c where external moment m not and from here this distance is a and total distance is l and this is a fixed support b this is point a now you can see we have split this in case 1 in which we have only reactions force at point a and this is case 2 in which we have a moment but the sum of case 1 plus case 2 will give you this condition so we will solve for case 1 so case 1 is loading 1 loading 1 and how we will uh, solve this so we will take case 1 of appendix d so let's move and we'll check appendix d so you can see here this is the case uh, let me show you this is the case 1 of appendix d you can see this is the maximum deflection the force at one end is p so in our condition that was r a so deflection will be above and that will be plus so it will be r a l cube over 3 e i in our condition so i will write that so y a dash will be equal to r a l cube over 3 e i 
this is the scenario this will be the deflection so this will be equal to y a dash and that will be equal to r a l cube over 3 e i now we'll move toward loading 2 so i will write loading 2 and loading 2 can be obtained by case 3 of appendix d so what is the case 3 so let's check it you can see this is the case 3 i will show you this is the case 3 you can see at the end of beam there is m and total length is l so in this condition deflection is this one while slope is this one but you can see that in our condition the moment is at point c at a distance of so this length will be equal to l minus a so our length here will be replaced by l minus a so l will be equal to here your l will be equal to l minus a so here m into l minus a whole square over 2 ei and it will be m into l minus a over ei so we will write it <coughs> so y c da double dash is equal to minus m naught and l will be replaced with l minus a so l minus a whole square over 2 ei while slope at point c will be equal to theta c double dot and that will be equal to m naught into l will will be replaced with l minus a over ei so what if i draw this scenario over here clear you can see this is the simply support so due to this external moment m naught it will bend like this so this is your total y a double dash and that will be equal to up till now this will be equal to y c double dash and this slope this theta will be equal to theta c double dash so y a double dash y a double dash will be equal to y c double dash plus theta c double dash into distance this distance is a you can see this is a so by using s is equal to r theta so r is a and theta is theta c double dot so you can put it and you will get y a double dash so y a double dash will be equal to uh, minus y c double dash is minus m naught into l minus a whole square over 2 e i and you can check that this distance this distance will also downward which is uh, this one a into c so it will also add so we will also take it minus because both will both sum will give you a total y a double dash so minus a into m naught into l minus a over ei okay so we will get y a double dash is equal to minus m naught into l minus a whole square over 2 ei minus a into a into m naught into l minus a over ei so this is the y a double two for loading two now we know that due to superposition due to superposition and constraint which is what is the constraint constraint is that y a is equal to zero you can see that at point a we have a roller support so at this y a is equal to zero so also 
we will take y a is equal to y a dash due to loading one and plus y a double dash due to loading two their sum must be equal to zero because at point a we know that total diffraction is zero so what we we will put the value y a dash is r a l cube over three e i plus y two dash is minus this value minus m naught into l minus a whole square over 2 e i minus a into m m naught into l minus a over e i their sum must be equal to zero so if you further simplify it you will get 2 over 3 r a into l cube minus m naught into l minus a into l minus a plus 2a you can solve it and when you solve that further 2 over 3 r a l cube is equal to m naught into l square minus a square further simplification will give you r a is equal to 3 m naught into l square minus a square over 2 l q so this is the reaction force at point a now you know that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force as positive so we have only two forces one is r a and that is r b their sum must be equal to zero so r a plus r b is equal to zero so we it means that r b is equal to minus r a and that is equal to three minus three m naught into l square minus a square over two l q so we have assumed the r b direction upward and that it here upward so it means that our resumed direction is wrong so rb should be downward clear now we will find the reaction moment at point b so what we will do is that uh, we will uh, find that sum of all moment about point b is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so again i will show you movement about point b so r a into perpendicular distance is l and it will be clockwise uh, where at point c we have external movement m naught that is counterclockwise plus and there is a movement counterclockwise m b their sum must be equal to zero so i will write that r a into r a into r a r a into l and that is minus plus m naught plus m b their sum must be equal to zero so from here you will get uh, m naught plus m b r a is minus three over two m naught l square minus a square over l square sum is equal to zero you can see that r a is this this is l cube clear so one l will be cut with this l so it will be l square it will be remain this okay so from here you will get this is one is mb so you will get movement about point b is equal to 3 m naught over 2 l square into l cube minus a square minus 2 over 3 l square since the value is positive so it means that m b is counterclockwise so what if i draw the beam so this is this was the beam clear this is your uh, r a which is upward clear your r b is downward 
as per our calculation your movement is counterclockwise m0 and at point c you have a counterclockwise movement m0 this distance was a and total distance was l so we have find out r a r b and reaction movement at point b i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching thank you